Hey guys, um, a bit of a different video, uh, kind of just sort of like a short, sort of funnish one, technically, not technically, but anyway. So, as you can see from the title, the issue with Twitch bots, the reason why I'm making this video now is that I feel like I have quite a good insight on it, uh, and there's all this drama going on between Masan and the Hearthstone community at the moment. So, very brief story, why do I have experience with it? I'm a streamer, my channel was viewbotted in the past, so... I'll get into that later. Um, what's the Masan story if you don't know? Basically it's this, actually no I'm not even going to get into that. Basically there's people who have been accused of view botting and there's loads of debate going on. So why is my story somewhat relevant in the debate? It's not relevant in that debate but it's relevant to why Twitch can't be overly strict when it comes to view botting. So I was a very small streamer a few years ago, well I still am now but I was streaming a few years ago and I was playing Diablo 3. Now, at the time when I was playing Diablo 3, I was streaming every day for about six months or so. Okay, fair enough. I had about 20 people most in my channel, and it was kind of like the same 10 to 20 people who would watch all day, and they'd be there every day, right? Now, it gets kind of frustrating after multiple months of you working really hard on something to see other channels always at the top, right? Now, one of my viewers sent me a private message saying, I've just bought um, 100 viewbots. And I was like, okay. And then 30 minutes later, I am now um, in the top half of the Twitch page. I was in like the top 15 streamers. Then I was in like the top 5 streamers. Now, because I went in the top 15, I gained viewers because people would see my channel. I then went into the top 5 and this and the other, and I gained a bunch of subscribers and da 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 da. Now, I didn't bought my own Twitch, one of my viewers bothered me because they thought that I was being hard done by, I was a good streamer, but no one was seeing me because I was in the bottom of the Twitch directory. Now, if you were to ban everyone who ever had bots on their channel, you would have to ban me from Twitch, even though I didn't do anything wrong. Right. Now, why did my viewer do that? And I know that not every case of botting works like this, but this is an interesting case. Why did my viewer do that? Because the Twitch directory sucks. The way the Twitch directory works is the top streamers are at the top. Anyone who is not the five biggest never gets seen by anyone. If, for example, you go on Twitch, you pick any game you want, out of interest, click on it and keep scrolling down. Then keep scrolling until you hit zero viewers. Like, you see the people with only zero viewers. Then keep scrolling. There will be pages of people with, like, less than five viewers. They might be amazing content creators, but they'll be never seen because of the way that Twitch operates. Because of that, people are drawn towards botting, right? So then they bot their channel, they then end up in the top, they then get seen. If they're good, they get actual viewers, and they grow. The problem is, is that pushes everyone beneath them even further down the list, and they struggle even more and more and more. If Twitch ever wants to solve the issue with bots, they need to change the way that you find channels on Twitch, otherwise bots will always be worthwhile. Um, the reason why Twitch doesn't care too much about bots is it's very easy for them to tell what is a botted views and the way that the ad revenue works. Basically, you don't like just print money by having bots. In some cases, you might get some extra money by having bots, but it's not like you're just like rolling in the Gs, yeah? It doesn't quite work like that. So Twitch kind of just goes, mm, we don't really care. Now, if they did ever become super strict and they started banning people, what would end up happening is, let's say I don't like a particular streamer, and I'm like, oh, I hate that streamer. I'm just going to bot his channel. It doesn't cost much. I'll bot the hell out of his channel. Yeah, he got banned. Let's say that I go back into streaming D3, and there are 10 people above me on the list. I'm like, oh, those 10 guys are above me on the list. Well, if I got those guys banned, I'd now become the top streamer, right? So you'd just get this weird war of streamers botting other streamers they don't like to try and promote their own channel, um, or you'd get fans botting channels they want to grow or don't want to grow and it just comes this weird heated kind of war so next time you think about you know oh I hate that guy because he used bots maybe he himself didn't use the bots that's something to kind of think about um, and even if he did use the bots think about why he did it you know so I'm not trying to defend anyone or anything I'm just trying to give my own experience because you know it's something I had to deal with and you know it's kind of a messed up situation because you know, back in the day when my viewer botted me and I gained a bunch of, like, legitimate viewers and stuff out of it, it was one of those things of, I spent, like, the next few weeks kind of going, ooh, I don't know if I should encourage him to do it again. Should I, like, 
tell him off for doing it? Like, how do I handle it? I say, no, never do that again. Um, even though it legitimately helped me and I actually got real followers who enjoyed the content. Well, it's unfair to other people, so in the end I said, don't do it again. And I never botted, or I never encouraged him to bot me again. Um, but yeah, it's awkward, you know? And I had my girlfriend at the time, he was kind of saying, well, you should, probably should let him keep doing it because you'll grow, but then I felt bad about it. And also I was really paranoid that, well, if Twitch ever found out, they would remove me and it wouldn't be worth it. And I also felt kind of bad that, like, one of my viewers was paying money. And, it, like, the whole thing just, it's all really seedy and really fishy. And people wouldn't be in that position or feel like they have to be in that position if the way you could find content creators would be better. So anyway, that's just kind of that. It's a bit of a random one. Um, it's not like particularly game specific, but it just kind of applies to all games at the moment with Twitch. I'm Taki Cat. I'll be back to the guide shortly. Sorry for a bit of an off topic, but it's a video that I've been thinking about for a while since, you know, all this drama going on in the Hearthstone community. Hope you have a good new year. Bye-bye.